don't set a name. Previously on Last Stop. Dad! I know, I'm running late. Let me get sorted, I'll be quick. What's the deal with Jack's post always coming to us? Uh, do you have any post for us? Oh, uh, yeah, I do. You know? You see that? I couldn't even bother to bring me my damn post. I like him. Oof. Are you guys all right? You two, you two. We're made for each other. Are you safe? Are you here to see my dad? I think he's sick. Who's sick? My dad, John. Are you okay, Jack? Jack? I do not like him. And that was his flat. Why are you being so weird? Have you got some more of our post or something? Can you let me in? I think I need to speak to your, um, dad. Okay, I guess I'm not a stranger. He's locked himself in his bedroom. I'll go and talk to him. Oh God, oh God, what the hell has happened to me? Jack, is that you? You okay? No, no, I'm really not. I'm having a terrible nightmare. I'm horribly disfigured and fat and old. All right, tone it down a notch. My daughter's out here. Who the hell are you? Why do you sound like me? Open the door. Jesus H. Christ! You've stolen my body! You've stolen my body. Wait. I recognise this face in the mirror. If this is your body, that must make you the bloke who brings the post! Seriously? My name's John. We've met like ten times. Look, this is not important right now. Help! Help! Shut up! No! What the hell are you doing? Your dad's a little bit unwell, so I'm going to take you to school. That's all right, isn't it? Sure. What's wrong with my dad? Oh, he's fine. He just hit his head on the sink, you know, when he was cleaning his teeth. I told him to have a little lie down. But Mr Gilbert said if you have concussion you shouldn't sleep because you might not wake up again. Yeah, well, sometimes all you need to do is go to sleep and everything will be fine in the morning. That's what Dad says when he got a hangover. Is Dad going to have to go to hospital again? Don't worry. He's fine. 
just, he has to go to the doctor about his heart sometimes. Trust me, Mole. He'll be fine. You've never called me Mole before. Will you make sure Dad's okay when I'm at school? He can't have fried food. He isn't allowed. Well, I'm just going to pop home after this to check on him. Or cheesecake. He'll ask you for it by saying no. Hey, Molly. Hello, whoever you are. Hey, Shaz. This is Jack. Hello, Jack. Molly, where's your dad? He hit his head on the sink and has concussion. Oh, my God! So, Jack brought me to school while he sleeps it off. Thanks for that colourful interpretation there. He, he's, he's fine, he's just a bit ill. Who are you again? I told you, he's Jack. Molly, why don't you run along to school? OK. OK, what's really happened to John? And why the hell are you taking his daughter to school? OK, I can explain. You better. I'm calling the police. I'm, um, John's brother. He doesn't have a brother. We've been estranged. I, I, I can prove it. Ask, ask me something that only someone close to John would know. I'm not playing games. Please. Well, what's John's mum called? Jane Smith. Biggest phobia? Black cats. Terribly superstitious. You're really John's brother. I am. Look, I'm, I'm glad I bumped into you, actually. He asked whether you could tell Clive he won't be in today. He's going to be in the shit for that. But sure, I can tell him. Thanks, Shaz. Uh, Sh Shazia. I appreciate it. John's so fragile. I often say he could use some help around the house. Well, not that fragile. Right. You're not going to scream at me again, are you? He's done a runner. Jack, what the hell? Do you know this guy? Amy, it's me! I'm Jack! He's my crazy uncle. Sorry, I'm pretty sure he's high. How does he know my name? He's lying! Amy, it's me! We've been friends forever! Oh, uh, I guess I told him about you. Why? What did you tell him? Oh, you know, just that you're really nice, that you're a nice person, that you're really good at running. Your favourite ice cream's rum and raisin, your favourite sport is basketball, you secretly smoke, but you never tell anybody. Shut up! Did you seriously tell him all this shit about me? No. I, um, keep a diary. And he read it. The bastard. 
Oh, well, I'll look after him. Why don't you go to, uh... Work? Don't go! Amy! Amy, help me! I need your help! Yeah, you go to work. Come on, Jack. I, m I mean, John. Let's get you home. Yeah. Bye. Amy! Jack! Stay away from me. You've done this. You've put a spell on me or something. You're evil. Will you stop a minute? We need to talk about this. Just leave me alone. Body feels so weird. Jesus, don't you ever exercise? Slow down. You'll give me another heart attack. I can't even look at you. This is so messed up. It's the same for me as it is for you, you know. Come on. I'll buy you a coffee. Have you got any idea how this might have happened? No. Oddly enough, this is my first time swapping bodies. Something would have triggered this. Something that connects the two of us. Something spiritual. Or witchcraft. No, I don't believe in any of that crap. Jesus. What are they going to say at work? Well, I'm you, right? I've got your phone here. Let me call in sick for you. Actually, not a bad idea. OK, look for Sonia in my contacts. She's the receptionist at work. Tell her I got the squits or something. Charming. OK. It's ringing. Superfab Games. Sonia speaking. Hey, Sonia, it's Jack. Uh, I'm not going to be able to make it in today because i got the squirts, I'm afraid. Ah, oh, Skyver. No worries, I'll tell Derek. Enjoy your lying. No, really, I'm very poorly. She hung up. Yeah, Sonia's safe. Hey, hang on a minute, your phone's buzzing. Answer it. Say you're me. Uh, hello? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Who was it? It was your daughter's school. I said to let them know in future if you plan to keep Molly home for the day. Such an idiot. I shouldn't have taken her to school. She must have been so confused about everything. Well, you did drop her off in my body. I mean, she possibly thought that was a little bit weird. Shut up and help me look for her. Hey, relax. Look, she's probably just in the park, right? Playing on the swings, like, you know, like a kid. You need to chill out. She does like the swings. Okay, let's try there first. It feels seriously weird being you. Ooh, everything jiggles about as I move. Can you focus on the matter at hand? My daughter may have been kidnapped. Mate, she's probably just drinking cider behind a tree somewhere. Yeah, well, I'd take that at this point. That's the spirit. you're all right. Oh, hi Jack. Nice to see you. This is going to take some explaining. So I didn't go to school. Am I in trouble? What? Nah. We're cool. No worries. Molly, promise me you'll never do that again. You scared me to death. Why are you both being so weird? Dad, I was worried you were poorly, so I wanted to go home. But then I got scared you'd be angry. Are you going to tell her or am I? There's something we need to talk to you about. Let's get you home.
How come Jack's here? I think you should ask John that. I, I, I mean, Jack. We have something to tell you that affects all three of us. Is it about our post? So, something seems to have happened last night where... Um, how would you describe it? Our brains have got swapped. Yeah, that's basically it. And I know I don't look it, but I'm your dad. Is that weird? And I'm Jack. Just so we're clear. You've swapped brains? Yes. And you're my dad? Yeah. And this isn't a joke? No. OK. Chicken dippers. Solid dinner choice, John. They're the business. So, what happens now? You get our old bodies back. All oh, right! Dad, you've got a sauce down your front. That shirt's limited edition. It's all right. It'll come out in the wash. It won't. You both look a bit of a state. You should dress each other up properly. Got a point. None of my clothes are going to fit me anymore. Okay, we'll go get my stuff, but I want them back in the same condition I left them. She's a smart kid. I know. I'm a lucky dad. How do you put up with feeling out of breath all the time? It's not so bad. I don't know how my clothes look so bad when you wear them. <laughs> We're going to have to perform a wardrobe transplant on you. Go and get some clothes from the wardrobe in my bedroom. Right, well, it's been quite a day. I should probably be getting to bed soon. Well, you can't stay here. <laughs> of course I can. It's my place. We need to keep up appearances. I can't have me, uh, sorry, you, living somewhere else. It's the only thing that ties me to Molly. On paper, I mean. So what are you saying? You want me to move in? Well, for the time being, at least. Until we figure out how to get out of this... situation. <laughs> the more I think this through, the more problems there are. What about work? I can't keep calling in sick. I'm guessing you have a job too. Well, I know, but... I just haven't got that far yet. If you've got a suggestion, let's hear it. On Monday, we're going to have to cover for each other. I'm going to have to pretend to be you, and you're going to have to pretend to be me.